This is the entrance to what used to be the Fellowship Hall. And right now it is just storage for some of the broken pews that are displaced from upstairs. And as you can see, I hope can see, not much light. I waited to do this in the light, but not enough is coming through, a little dark to see that this space, which used to be, I would be standing right now in our commercial kitchen, right back here would have been our brand new furnace and the um, storage room and our church bathrooms, uh, restrooms would have been also right along here, uh, men's and women's, and then another storage closet with all of the paper products and um, extra things utilized for the kitchen. And then the rest of the space here was our um, fellowship hall space with tables and chairs and we seat probably about 150 people for community dinners, church gatherings, all sorts of things. The space is also, as most small town church space is, was used by multiple other groups including the daily meetings of AA and some nightly meetings of AA. Al-Anon usually meet next door, but a local spinners guild and quilt guild and a Weight Watchers club and the Peacemakers Quilting Club and uh, multiple others, including then next door in the Heritage House, the group that works on the dam, the Dam Concerned Citizens, and had been used by Habitat for Humanity and multiple other organizations as well. So here is where we're at on October 18th, 2012, over a year after the devastating flood caused by Hurricane Irene in upstate New York, Schoharie Reformed Church.